everyone Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if Ethernet is spiking in Task Manager. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update your network drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in here in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Network Adapters then right click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to load locate and install the best available drivers on your PC. Now just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to change the DNS. So to do this, press the Windows button and select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on network and internet and then select your Ethernet connection and make sure in the DNS server assignment to click on the edit button. Now select the drop down menu and click on manual and in here turn on the toggle for IPv4. Now in the preferred DNS make sure to type in the following string 8.8.8.8 .8 and afterwards in the alternative DNS type in 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. Now just make sure to click on save, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to close any bandwidth hogging background programs. So to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options. Now in here, scroll down in the background processes and if you have any process that shows a high percentage in the network section, right click on it and select the End Task option. Afterwards, you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset the network settings using command prompt. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, make sure to type in the following commands, but press enter after each command. Note that you can find them in the description below, so copy each command, then paste it in command prompt and press on enter. Afterwards, make sure to restart your computer and you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content.